Hey guys, HTV here, and welcome back to a brand new video going over Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. As you can see today, we've got another tier list, because when a new Pokemon does get revealed for Pokemon Sword and Shield, I do like to make another tier list, ranking all of the new Pokemon and the Gigantamax forms, and see if my opinions of the older Pokemon shown have changed at all. Because you guys seem to like them, and they're really fun to do. So, if you are excited for the video, please do consider hitting that like button down below. Let's try and hit 300 likes on today's tier list video. Make sure to leave a comment down below. What is your favorite brand new Pokemon revealed so so far for Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And of course, subscribe as well if you're brand new. Ring that bell to get notified whenever we do upload a video. Because hey, it takes 0.2 seconds of your life and it's completely free. So why not? It's that easy. With all of that out of the way though, guys, this is the tier list. So the cool thing about this one, I didn't actually make this one. This is just online um, on the whole tier list creator thingy, whatever. Um, but they actually put in at the, the top, a uh, final top, uh, final team top six out of the Pokemon revealed so far. So that's kind of cool. And I'm going to be doing that as well, um, which I don't actually know the answer to that yet. I'm just going to cross that bridge when I get to it. So first, I'm going to rank them all, and then I'll do my final team, so my top six. All right, okay. So first up, we do have Corby Knight. Now again, Corby Knight, still love this Pokemon, still think it's incredible. Uh, and of course, the Gigant Gigantamax Corby Knight is a thing which I do like better. The, the thing about this list, though, is there's no S tier. It's just A, B, C, D. So I'm going to throw Corby Knight in the B tier, just because... You know, with well, the Gigantamax forms here as well, so I may as well throw him in the A tier just because I do like that form better, and it can't really be the exact same tier if one's better than the other. So Corby Knight goes into the B tier, and then Gigantamax Corby Knight goes into the A tier. Next up, we do have Dreadnought and Gigantamax Dreadnought. In fact, I'm gonna just throw this dude over here, and I'm also gonna throw Al Creamy here, and then the Gigantamax Al Creamy, just so I can throw them on at the same time because they're just gonna be one stage higher or lower than, than the other one. But anyway, we've got Dreadnought next. I do like Dreadnought. It's actually grown on me a little bit, to be fair. I think I put Dreadnought in like the C tier last time. It's actually grown on me a little bit. I don't know why, because I haven't really seen any footage of it. I just Maybe today's just a Dreadnought day. I don't know. But I actually kind of like Dreadnought. So I'm going to throw him in the B tier, as well as the Gigantamax being in the A tier as well. Because I do like the Gigantamax um, Dreadnought as well. I think it's really, really cool. Uh, Al Creamy, I do like Gigantamax Al Creamy. I like more. Um, so Al Creamy, I'm going to throw in the C tier. And then Gigantamax just goes into the B tier. That nice birthday cake. You know, hey, if you have a wedding and you got an Al Creamy, then you're sorted because you don't have to put any money into that, that, that big old wedding cake because this thing just Gigantamax is boom. You can feed the whole village, let alone the people just at the wedding reception. Either way, next up we do have Elder Goss and Gossy Fleur. Uh, the, one of the only evolution lines that we know about so far. Um, if not the only evolution line we know about so far, actually. Yeah, no other Pokemon we know about evolves apart from Obstagoon. Um... So yeah, that's kind of crazy. I didn't realize that. But yeah, we do have Elder Goss and Gossy Fleur. So Gossy Fleur, not a huge fan of. I'm a friend in the D tier. Um, unless the evolution is really, really cool for Elder Goss. If it does have an evolution, uh, it's probably just going to stay there. I'm not going to put this thing on my team. I'll still catch one for the Pokedex and, and just to see what it's like. Um, and, and, and of course, if the, third, if the third stage evolution is really good, then I'll keep it. But if it, if it just stays like this, then I'm not going to get them. Uh, Elder Goss is pretty cool. I like it a little bit more than Gossy Fleur. I'll throw that in the D tier. Again, the starters, they just come as a package for me because I generally have no idea which one I'm going to pick yet. Star evolutions have not been shown yet. Hopefully they haven't been shown yet because this video is going to be going live whilst I'm on holiday. <laughs> I'm hoping there's no news dropping whilst I'm on holiday. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit awkward. <laughs> but if, if this does, for some reason, come out after some huge news whilst I'm away, just know that I'm recording this pre that news um so i'm gonna throw all the starters in the b tier just because i like them all the same so far i have no idea which one i'm gonna pick uh it's really gonna depend on the evolution which i, I like more of course we do kind of know the names of the evolutions like we got sis uh, and intellion or something like that for sobble and then we have raboot for score bunny and then we don't know garuki's ones but score bunny's evolution is apparently like really humanoid looking but they're pretty much confirmed because of the athlete league so I don't know, just from the names, Sobble sounds really cool in Teleon. I really like the name of that. And I think I might end up picking Sobble um, based on the names and stuff. But again, I have to see the designs. I have to see the typings. Uh, we don't really know anything about the typings. All we know is that Scorbunny is apparently going to stay pure fire. According to that leak, who knows? I'm just going off what we've, what we've seen. Then we have Wulu. I love Wulu. Wulu's the best. I love it. You've not seen the video of Wulu like rolling around the little hill. It's in like the background of like one of the trailers. It's just the best thing ever. I love it. It's so cool. Uh, and then we have Zacian and Zamazenta. Uh, Zamazenta is definitely my favorite legendary of the two. He's going to go into the A tier. He's really, really cool. Um, and Z Zacian, again, I do like. 
I'm gonna throw him in the B tier. He's all right. And then we have Galarian Zigzagoon. We're moving on to some Galar forms right now. Um, so Galarian Zigzagoon is pretty cool. I'm not a huge fan of the coloring and stuff. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I've never really been a huge fan of the Zigzagoon evolution line. I only ever really caught one for the HM Slave. So I'm gonna throw Zigzagoon in the D tier. Uh, Lenoon probably in the C tier. But then Obstagoon really, really took me by surprise like i was not expecting that in the trailer at all i really like the design of obstagoon it's going in the a tier that's where he belongs but yeah just because of the sheer like out of nowhere we were not expecting to see that in the slightest and i think it's really really cool i love how the list is just getting bigger and bigger with every new trailer drops it's just this this ranking things are going to be even bigger by the time the full game comes out because i probably will do a ranking of every gen 8 pokemon because i'm sure you guys want to see that impidimp is up next Impidim's design doesn't really strike me as something that I would like to put in my team, but it is cool. It's a brand new typing being uh, fairy dark. We've not had that yet. So for that, I'm going to put him in the C tier. I'm sure it will evolve. I'm sure it'll evolve into something really, really cool. Um, but I don't like Impidimp as much as the starters and Wooloo. Um, but I do like it more than Galarian Zigzagoon and Gossifleur. So he goes in the C tier. That's where he belongs. Morpico is really, really cool. I really like Morpico. Like, I really, really like Morpico. I love the whole hangry form thing. I think that's really, really cool. I'm throwing both in the A tier. I just... Just, I just like the design of the Pokemon. I like the premise of the Pokemon. It probably won't be the best. It's obviously a new typing, being Electric Dark. Um, but yeah, I do. I just like more Pico at the moment. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's a new Pokemon. It's just really growing on me. I don't know why Meltan and Melmetal are here, by the way. I don't know why this person put them there. Um, but I'll just... I don't know. I, I like Meltan and, and Melmetal, but I'm just going to throw them there because we don't even know if they're going to be in the Generation 8 games. This person, I guess, just presumes they are going to be. They probably are, but from where I'm standing, I, I'm not sure if they are so in fact i won't even put them on the list to be fair because we don't even know if they're going to be in the games i'll just throw them there next up we have galarian wheezing uh, galarian wheezing is a really really good pokemon type wise it's poison fairy which is another new jewel type by the way uh, that we've not seen before and it's also got levitate it's super broken i think it's gonna be really good and competitive so i'm gonna throw that in the b tier next we have duraludon I, I, again i'm kind of a little bit off it i'm gonna throw it in the c tier um because i don't know it got a really good typing being a dragon steel but if it doesn't have any evolutions i don't know if it's just a normal standalone pokemon it can't really see it being something i would want to put on my team um but that's just that really at the end of the day i don't know it may, it's all right i like the typing a lot but it is what it is last but not least though we do have roly coley uh roly coley is a really cool pokemon i like the name i love the um the, type, the ability that it has, I think it's really, really broken. Um, and I, I think it's going to evolve into something really, really good. I do really like it. So I'm going to throw him in the B tier. Um, so this is my Generation 8 tier list, ATM. Um, until we see more evolutions of Pokemon, until we see more released. Obviously, this list will change a lot, I am sure, by the time that Sword and Shield come out. But I like making these videos. It's a nice little kind of timeline of how I like and dislike certain Pokemon. But now I have to do my final team. So straight off the bat, Corby Knight is going to be my team. I really, really like Corby Knight. I'm not going to put the Gigantamax form in there just because it's already good. It's going to have that anyway. Um, Zamazenta is going to go in my team just simply because I'm going to be playing through Shield more than um, Sword. Shield's going to be like my main game copy. And then Sword's just going to be what I buy just to have a copy of Sword. And just so I can trade all the Pokemon that are version exclusive to that game over to Shield. So I can complete the Pokedex and stuff and get the Shiny Charm. Fingers crossed. Um, okay, so I don't know what starter I'm picking. Um, so I'm just going to throw them all in there. Just because I generally have no idea. So this just counts as like, I've got three Pokemon in here. But I've only put these three all in because I generally have no idea at all which Pokemon I'm going to put in. By the way, these are just Pokemon that are new to Gen 8 out of my final team. So if a Pokemon like, I don't know, Luxray ends up being in Generation 8, I would put that in my team because it's one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, but obviously this is just for the brand new Pokemon. I want to put Wooloo in my team, but I know it's just not going to be that very, like that good. Um, I kind of want to put more Pico in my team. I don't know. I just, I really, really love the design. I love the hangry form. I'd have to put Obstagoon in. So what's this? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we've got one more spot uh, for this. We've got one more spot for my team for Generation 8. Um, I don't know who to put in, to be fair. I really don't know who to put in. Um, obviously, it can't be Zacian because I'm putting Zamazenta in. Maybe I'll Creamy. Maybe Dread. Um, nah, probably Roly Coley, to be fair. It depends, man. It depends, like... I don't know what these are going to evolve into. Impidimp might evolve into something really, really good. And then Roly Coley might just evolve into a bigger rock or something. And in that case, I'd put Impidimp on my team. And then Wooloo might evolve into something really cool. So I really don't know. Um, for the time being, just because I like Roly Coley more than Impidimp, I'll throw him on the team. But 
this could definitely change. So, so this is my team. So Zamazenta, Corby Knight, one of the starters, more Pico, Obstagoon, and Roly Coley. Just out of the new Pokemon, so far, that is my team. But that is going to be everything for today's video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please do consider hitting the like button down below. It really does help out. Let's try and hit 300 likes. Let me know if you guys do like these tier lists. There's going to be a couple more tier lists coming out, not of Generation 8, but just of anything Pokemon whilst I am away. Um, I don't know if one would have already gone up before this. I don't know. This is just the first one I'm recording. It's difficult ball recording. You just lose track of what you've done. <laughs> but yeah, make sure to leave a comment down below which your favorite new Pokemon is. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Subscribe if you're brand new. Turn on notifications. That's everything from me though, guys. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.